Okay, folks, welcome back to part four of Let's Play the Guardian Legend. At least I hope this is part four, because I've tried to record this video twice, and it's been giving me fits. Well, anyway, if I and you both remember correctly, we were about to enter this corridor and try to uh, defeat a vertically scrolling stage. So let's get to it. Remember, we have to fire at this thing, and it opens. Hopefully I explained that, and hopefully I actually read the text. It's happened before, trust me. I don't know if it made it to video, but it has happened before. And then we go. Transform into the little fighter jet, since you didn't get to see that earlier. And here we go. What we have is vertically strolling shooting stage, just like the very opening, only this one isn't moving at warp speed. And it's an underwater theme instead of the outer hole of the planet's theme. But we have fish, we have anemones, and in a later version we'll have little starfish that fly over little plates and try to kill you. Making it to the boss in this is not overly difficult. It can pose a problem to beat the boss at times, depending on if I take a pounding getting there. Yeah, I'm sorry if I don't talk a whole lot. I'm sure some people would be happy that I'm not saying much. But, uh, yeah. It's a little difficult to talk and do these shooter stages. At least do them to the point I don't die horribly. Hopefully, as I play through this game more and more, some of the old reflexes that I had when I first played this will start coming back to me. I can hope, anyway. Some of the old memories. And sometimes you just have to take damage. I probably didn't have to, but I don't remember how to beat them. I hate these things. I actually do enough damage to be a threat. Excuse me. That part right there, if you don't if you don't remember it, yeah, that one will uh, come back to bite you because it'll trap you on one side and you take a ton of damage right before you meet the boss. Several ways to approach this boss: dance under him, and then don't do that. But you know, up so he fires the bullets up. You notice he doesn't have, you know, much special. Ow. Takes up a full, uh, point. Okay, rule one, if you have the choice, take the damage from those little bullets. They only do half a point. Unless there's a whole lot of them, then you ramp the boss, but you don't want to do that very often. And he's dead. Easy enough. Okay, now it says you got key. Now you remember 
remember those warp tiles that we couldn't enter before? Well, a few of them just opened up to us. The ones specifically that had the shape of that little half moon. Strangely enough, right above us is exactly one of those. And the weapon we just got... Very nice. There's a slow moving, circular moving bullet. And you can hear it hitting the walls. Yeah, get over there. But I still like the little lightsaber. Now, see? More panel with the moon. That's where we can go. Now you notice something, is that these enemies look exactly like the uh, bouncing rocks, I guess you call them, we saw earlier. They are. They're just a little bit tougher, and they're different color. You notice here, the jelly blobs are now orange. I think there's still blue jelly bobs floating around here, but, you know, for now, those are orange. Over here, nothing. But the little rug monsters are still red. There's not much new to... It's a common theme in, well, pretty much all games, but this one is really bad about it. Um, you have pretty much just palette-swapped enemies. Not that palette-swapping is bad, say, but, yeah. I'm gonna say you're just not a whole lot faster than those robots. I mean, you're faster enough, but just not to the point that... Ah, good, another weapon. I will wait to demonstrate that until I, you know, until I actually have to use some chips, because I'd like to keep that main gun. Yeah, I'd like to keep my main gun. Oh, boy. Ah, here we go, here's a boss. Yep, yep, okay. And hey look, another weapon. Now that I've lost some chips, let us demonstrate new weapons. First this. Fires those two to the sides and slightly behind you. It's not bad, it has its use. Then there's this. A slow-moving, fairly powerful fireball. Both of them take chip, both of them are just uh, more armament you can get. And look at that. A third weapon, right here in a row. Ow, ow. Okay. That, you can tell it looks like a V. But no, it does not shoot in a V. What it does is make you Darth Maul. Yep. It basically, instead of the single lightsaber in front of you, you now have the duel right there. It's very nice. I love that one. Just a little bit too heavy on the chips to make much use of at the moment. Hmm. Not much there. Let's see. Yeah, let's just ignore these. Enemy, we'll ignore him. It's a potted plant that, that shoots bullets at you. The bullets are hard to ignore. Uh oh. 
That sound, ow! That sound means it's just about time for me to go. So I'm just about out of time, so I will cut it off here. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.